welcome back to the vlog. So you just probably, well, maybe not just, but I just finished uploading my vlog for today. We're back on the Vlogtober grind. Today, I'm gonna try and reset the house uh, since a lot of chaos has ensued over the last few days um, because parts of it are dirty, dusty, and we just wanna like have a little fun afternoon in the home. I am expecting somebody from Service Master in about an hour to come by and take a look at the fans and would assess the situation, make sure everything's all hunky-dory. But um, I thought I would make a little soup. I was thinking about making lamb meatballs because I have some lamb that I need to cook. And getting to those cinnamon rolls, I haven't gotten to the cinnamon rolls yet. And definitely just like cleaning up a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the vacuum slash mop. Now I have a new, I haven't done any thoughts about it yet, but the new Roomba J9 Plus combo map, mop and vacuums situation. I am pleased with it for the most part. There are a few hiccups that previous reviews or reviews I've watched do not mention. So um, I guess I'll gather my thoughts and put them on the main channel. But uh, I just wanna make sure that I get that started because if I miss a couple of days or a few days, it gets to be really gross around here because the dog brings in a bunch of leaves and dirt and stuff and so you know we've been walking in here there's been service people service people walking in here with their outside shoes so it's overdue let's start the reset You got me going into overdrive Too busy, can you leave a message by the tone? You got me wrapped around in summertime Yeah, yeah, I need to know we'll fall in love right here and now Call me up whenever you're feeling low Stimulate your mind, we can take it slow You got me going crazy now Falling Cause you're on my mind Jump, jump on it Put them up, put them up Come and show me I just will never know it All, all on it Put them up, put them up No second thoughts, just let me change your mind Put them up, put them up I just will never know it Put them up, put them up You're taking way too long, it's over time No lucky strikes, you're all it takes to be in my zone So show me something, just a little sign Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm always ready, so just tell me when to go Call me up whenever you're feeling low Stimulate your mind, we can take it slow You got me going crazy now Falling Cause you're on my mind Jump, jump on it Put them up, put them up Come and show me I just will never know it Fall, fall on it Put them up, put them up No second thoughts, just let me change your mind Put them up, put them up I just will never know it Put them up, put them up I didn't get around to like filming any of the rest of yesterday, but we cleaned up a little bit. Um, this morning, I've already had my coffee, been watching a masterclass. Today, I wanna have a little bit of a an admin day, um, and we'll just have a little chat. Um, Clover is here, we're gonna go for a walk. There he is, in just a moment. But I just wanna see what's going on downstairs. I can, st I can hear, the, the fans are very loud. So we're gonna go down 
and see what the deal is. All right, can you hear the sound of the fans? They're quite loud, so everything is out. Um, wow, and there's like a whole setup here with, uh, yep, drying fans. Um, you know what, I'm gonna open this and we can walk in there and take a look. All right, here we are. I hope you can hear me through the fan noise, but the water that was here was standing right here. It was horrifying, but it is already gone as you can see. Um, and the great thing about this was it was our, it was concrete underneath. So there's no damage to the tile, but here is the bathroom revealed. Um, I stepped on something. All right, so as you can see, everything around the tub is gone. The tile, everything. So, uh, because they needed, that was the water source. And apparently it went like that way. So the vanity is gone, we're gonna have to get a new one. But this is an opportunity, and look, this is my husband's closet. That way, you can see the alpha hanging there. Um, yeah, that's, that's the extent of the water damage. And on the other side, so this is quite a bit of damage. I don't even know if you can hear me, but I think you can. So I'm gonna have to shop for a new vanity, new hardware, all that. That's gonna be maybe a fun thing. And we discussed um, wainscoting here. Um, instead of just having the wallpaper go all the way down, I wanna do that in all the bathrooms. And I figured this was the first opportunity to really do that. So, um, and we're gonna have to get, of course, new tile around the top, but we're gonna keep all that stuff, I guess. And then here is the situation on this side. So the bathroom wall is there and the garden stairs are here. And of course there was damage um, underneath the stairs and all down the entire side of this wall. Now there was talk about it being unrelated, but um, a contractor was here yesterday and says it looks like it is related. So uh, because we're not seeing water coming from outside. So that's, uh, Hopefully that's the case, because um, I don't want to deal with like an external situation with water coming from outside in the house. Uh, but it, it has it's never been wet before, so I'm thinking it's all related. So, but that anyway is the story. Look at all those fun drying machines. <laughs> they are it's they are super loud. Um, yeah, so that's that's the whole that's the shebang. But it'll be okay. There's also two exploratory holes that they need to fill in. Clover is like, what the heck? They saved the top of the vanity, but I don't think I'm going to use that because um, I hate it anyway. So um, we're probably going to give it away or dispose of it somehow. Um, they did save the side, the shelf of the shower. I wonder if we can reuse that. I don't know if we can, but we'll ask our um, contractor. Uh, that is the toilet. Uh, the toilet is fine. So. <laughs> We just have to live in chaos for probably a few more weeks, but um, ultimately uh, the damage was much more than we thought, but not that bad. I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it was that bad. Anyway, uh, we're living in a little bit of chaos, but Clover, you wanna go for a walk? It is a little cooler than it has been in previous weeks. So we're getting some real fall weather. Here he comes. <laughs> we're getting some real fall weather right now. So it's kind of nice. I have to wear like a coat or something while the white balance it's freaking out. Um, but we're gonna go for a walk and then I'm going to have a little creator day where I'm gonna be brainstorming for the main channel. Um, I am not out of ideas, but I'm not organized, ironically. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple of days to get organized and then come up with a plan because if I don't have a plan, like an upload plan or a, uh, a filming plan, it all falls apart as as in life and tonight we have cantata singers it's our first time having rehearsal since the solo assignments have been made for the multiverdi vespers and we're all we're going through the whole thing tonight and my duet partner and i have been talking about getting together before rehearsal to do the duets but then conductor is going to be there anyway so i guess we'll just have a coaching before i don't know but anyway clover and i gonna go for a walk right or you want to play with toys. No, you want to go for a walk. Okay, we can go for a walk.
All right, we're back. Here are the results. They don't, listen, gluten-free baking, we had some hiccups, okay? And they don't look very good because they weren't cooked in the middle. And so I, I put them on a bigger sheet and turned them over so that they could cook on top. And in the, I don't know, it was a whole thing. However, um, cause they were in that and now they're in this. So they fell apart <laughs> because Gluten-free cooking is a thing that things fall apart, but we have this nice little cream and I've actually tried a piece of this and it's actually so delicious. I made a little cappuccino, pumpkin spice of course, cause it's Vlogtober. And now we'll taste test a little bit of the cinnamon roll, little outside piece. It's got all of the good like butter and stuff, cinnamon on it. First, Low carb cinnamon roll. It's this, this is a cinnamon roll. It doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't matter because it tastes good. This is what the dough looks like, um, sort of. It's like, it's not like a normal, you know, cause it's, it's made with almond flour but it's sweet enough. It's not like not sweet. That is hitting right now. That is so hitting. So I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna start my, um, my content plan <laughs> using this new AI tool I heard about that I signed up for a 60 day trial. We'll see if it's worth $50 a month after that. That's quite expensive. Like, that's like nothing to sneeze at. So if it's worth it, then yeah, I'll invest. But um, we'll see, we'll see. So far it seems pretty good. All right, um, I will talk at you later. I'm good, I'm devouring. It doesn't look pretty. It does not look pretty. But it doesn't matter, because it tastes so good. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. I've been workshopping a, like a single video idea for, I don't know, 10 minutes. And this thing is doing what my brain cannot do very in a very organized fashion, in a very organized fashion. It's not gonna make the video for me, but it's going to do the things that my brain cannot do by itself, which is storyboard, which is um, main ideas and themes. Um, and all that stuff that I can do, but it takes me a, like such a long time to do it. And I, I actually have done it on a, f okay, let me explain a few things. Since I've been running a YouTube channel for years now, um, I've had various successes and like failures. So I find, and I've been to a, a few like video creator, conference conferences and seminars classes all that stuff I went to vid summit twice which was really fun I got to meet a lot of great creators there um, and I the one thing I don't do is I don't really talk that actively with other creators which I really would like to do more often but I'm I'm kind of shy um, and talking with other creators this feels weird to me um, but I uh, will probably need to start doing that in the future. Um, I don't, it's not like I don't talk to other creators at all. I do, I speak with um, creators on a regular basis, but not about video creation. Um, and so I, it's kind of a lonely existence. 
And when I have been successful, like I have been, I have taken a couple of times where I've intentionally like audited my channel and done all of the work at comparing thumbnails and comparing subjects and blah, blah, blah. And when I did like all of that math, I then spat out of my own idea, like a video idea, made the video, designed the thumbnail very intentionally, and that video has been one of my top performing videos ever. And then I did, I did it again, like maybe like a year later, and again, that video performed really well. These were both videos I enjoyed making, they just involved a lot of back work in order to get the video produced and the thumbnail produced. Now, um, I think that in my niche, I am like one of many now and it's really oversaturated and to really stick out, you kind of have to do a lot more work than I used to do back in like 2017, 2018, when there weren't a lot of creators in the space doing like home organizing advice, inspiration, all that stuff. Um, and I honestly don't know 100% where I want to continue to go with the Organized Soprano. Am I okay just doing like home organizing advice and inspiration for the like the entire lifetime of the channel? Sure. Um, will it, like I'd like to be able to do more of like personal space transformations and stuff, but the like the effort that it takes to get a volunteer to volunteer for it and the production cost overall involved in those kinds of projects is a lot um both time investment and uh, financial investment including like getting a, a somebody to to film because i have been when i was filming myself doing it i part of me part of my like i guess star of the video you know me and the person is being taken away by me being like, oh, are we in are we in focus? Can you hear us? It's kind of, I can't be the producer, the video talent, and I mean, I can be the editor after the fact, but I can't produce. I can't like film it and be present in the in the way I want to for the video. So I'm gonna need to find someone here to hold the camera for me and make sure that we can be heard and stuff and the sound quality is good. And so I'm trying to figure that out right now. <laughs> um, you guys get to hear a little bit about how the sausage is made, but these are just my thoughts going forward. Um, I have been in a place where I've been publishing once a week over on um, the main channel. I would like to do publish more frequently. I just need a batch of videos to go and I'm working on getting that done. It just requires so much forethought um, and I'm gonna need to like really get on that like chop chop because next month I'm gonna have a big bulk of time because I don't have any gigs next month yet. And so I have a little bit of a, of a like a mental space to like get a lot of work done. So I'm trying to preemptively get scripts written, get ideas done. I have a whole bank of scripts written that I wrote last year for last year's Vlogmas that did not happen. Um, we'll see if they're still relevant. I think they're still relevant this year, but um, I'm gonna be better about actually getting them done this year. So that is what I'm probably gonna be doing for the rest in, of the afternoon until I practice my music for tonight. So I actually was just talking to my duet partner over text because we were talking about whether or not to rehearse alone or rehearse with Maestro. And we're probably gonna try rehearse with Maestro because he's gonna be there before rehearsal tonight. So um, we are singing just two duets together in the Monte Verde Vespers. And it's interesting because we are both a very similar voice. Um, but I have been assigned to sing the harmonies 
in the duets, which is um, something I'm not incredibly used to, but I find that singing harmonies is a lot more interesting. So there must be some, I, I, but I usually always sing melody or sing the top line, the line at the very top, because my tessitura is really high. But I'm thinking there must be some kind of richness in my voice that I'm not mentally tapping into. So um, I'm gonna try and get, make friends with that this afternoon. <laughs> I have a lot more work to do. Um, so I will continue the video a little later in the day. Sometimes it's hard to remember that that there is like the shoot video day and there is all of the stuff that happens before um, and it's a lot. <laughs> and there is the give concert day and there is a lot that happens before. So uh, preparation is an important part of performance and sometimes I even forget that. Like, I'm like, how much preparation do I need to do? When do I need to start? I feel like I often don't start soon enough, but we'll see what happens tomorrow when I show up at rehearsal with this chamber group and see how good I do. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens tonight. I'm looking forward to getting some more work done, getting some more storyboards written, and I think that Spotter, that's the software I'm using. I didn't even say what Spotter, what software I'm using. It's called Spotter. I think it's worth 50 bucks a month at this point. And I've only been using it for 15, 20 minutes. I think I can justify, I'll just cancel subscriptions to other things. Like I, I was using Rise. I haven't used Rise in months. Um, I'll cancel like a couple other things that I've been paying for but not really using in order to like make room in my wallet for spotter because I think spotter may be worth it in the end. All right, thanks for helping me work through some things today <laughs> mentally. I hope you had a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.